It's so much fun to share ideas. Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with everyone. I'm so excited to do this video today. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to do something a little bit different. I am going to do my Bible journaling video later, which I'm excited about that as well. But I just felt like I haven't done anything different in a while besides a Bible journaling video and a teacher tip video. I think it's been like maybe two weeks or so. But, you know, we're going back to school and everything like that. That's to be expected. So, I'm not going to um, make too big deal of that. Of that. So, um, in this video, um, I want to do a swatch um, of some pens that I have and some gel highlighters from... A company called creative devotion I've been using these pens and I really 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 like them um, I got these pens from Burlington Co factory but they are from um, no they're from um, yeah they are American crafts and the brand is called creative devotion so it is um, people could use it for other things but you can see that it's geared towards Bible journaling um, <clears throat> so these pens, they have like, I don't know what kind of ink is in them and I threw away the packaging, but I think if you go online, you can find out. I'll see if I can leave some information in the description section. Um, I purchased this a while ago and like I said, I've been using them and so I don't have the packaging. Sorry about that. But um, I really like the way that they write. They write very smooth. And I haven't done a swatch for them yet, so I thought perhaps doing it now and recording it will be lots of fun and perhaps somebody may be interested in it. I made me a quick swatch book because I've done swatches before, but um, I haven't um, been like organized with putting them in order, like keeping them together. So some of the swatch items that I've done, to be honest with you, I don't even know where those things are. They're somewhere buried. So I figured going forward, what I should do is make a little booklet and keep them all together. And, um, and this little booklet that I created with just some copy paper um, and a piece of card stock that I had did some ink spray um, testing on a while ago. Um, I put that together in this little, <clears throat> what was this? Something that I printed out, I stuck it on there and I made a swatch book. So, yeah, and then I, you see I put a little squiggly border. It was nothing too complicated. And then I just stapled the paper inside of the card stock cover. So. With that being said, let me just go on to swatching. Now, these, um, they don't have any color or anything written on them, but I'll just say the color as I pick them up. The Bible, the gel highlighters, rather, I haven't used yet. So, let me, before I start, let me go back into pricing. So, I purchased this from Burlington Co. Factory. This pack of pens were four, was $4.99. And these gel highlighters, as you can see, are $2.99. The retail price for this is $8, the gel highlighters. And this, I do not know, but I will leave a link in the description section. But I know it's more than $4.99. But I mentioned that in a previous video that if you get like planners and journaling items from Burlington Co. Factory. They are actually much cheaper um, than, hold on one second, what's that? They're much cheaper than they are, are 
um, online or maybe in Michaels. And sometimes it's up to 60% off. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and start swatching. But I am going to lay down a piece of washi tape because I noticed that I keep getting out of frame. So, let me put something so that won't happen again. So, I'm in frame now. I'm going to put this here. Awesome. Then I'm gonna put this here. So, and I don't think I need to go think work. Be concerned about the top and the bottom because I have a a paper runner here, and um, that will help me. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put the to swatch this. Um, since this is copy paper and it's thin, I'm gonna put this craft piece of craft mat behind the page and I am going to label not so much but put a, a title here for this page so this is creative devotion So I'll know what it is. I'll remember. So when I look back in my swatch book, I'll know what is what. So here's this pink one. Like I said, I really like the way these write. Pink. They write nice in text too. Right here. See if I was to underline. Um <clears throat> oh you know what? I'm sorry. I should put pink. Pink. So that's what that looks like. Orange. On a copy paper, you know it's going to be some... Bleed through. This is blue. There's another blue, but I don't know if. So I did these three so far. I'm going to put dark blue for this one right here. Yes, yeah, a dark blue. You see? Dark blue. I'm going to hold it up afterwards. This is more like a magenta. This pink here. Yeah. It's like more of a magenta. But it's so pretty. Okay. <gasps> I pulled it apart. What in the world did I, how did I do that? Oh, okay. Let's see what happened. Okay. So, let me get those out the way. <clears throat> Then we have light green. We have a green. Then light green, darker green rather, like a forest green. And I'm just going to put um, dark green. Because there's so many kinds of greens and so many kinds of blue. And, um,. I'm not too skilled in that area to be naming all the different colors like that. Not yet, anyway. This is purple. And this is like a black. I remember this one. Black. It looks gray, but it at Oh, I put black. Gray. It's black. Black. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up. This video is not going to be that long. It's just fun, fun, fun. Hold up. So, those are the colors. They're nice, right? Well, if you're into that thing. 
<laughs> if this is your kind of thing, but you know, everybody's different. So what I figured I'd do for the highlighters is I took some text out of this old book. I showed this some time ago that I used for some um testing out watercolors and things of that sort and some drawings and stuff that I was trying. <clears throat> And I just glued it down and my little DIY swatch book here. And so these colors are pretty basic. So we have our pink. And these are gel highlighters. So here's a pink. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. This is nice. Look at that. I'm going to also do another swatch for the Bible Journaling Highlighters. They're actually, that's what they call Bible Journaling Highlighters. So that was the pink. This is the yellow. Ooh. It comes out neon. And I really like these kinds of highlighters. Like... Creative, this is Creative Devotion. This is my first time using Creative Devotion, but I've used Bible Journal and Gel Highlighters, and this is, like, quite similar. But I just really like them a lot. Look at that. Look the vibrancy of that. Oh, wow. These are so nice. So, so nice. Blue. The blue. Oh, my, my, my. It's just like writing with cream. And then you have purple. Purple's a bit darker, but you can still see your wording, your words. So I'm really liking that. And what I want to do is take a piece of paper and see. You know, of course you probably, I would wait for a minute if it dry okay so this it's not rubbing off it's not smearing or anything like that so that's a good thing all right so so basically that's it you know it's not um oh you know what let me label this part right here creative devotion gel highlighters creative devotion gel highlighters it's not something that takes too long I just wanted to really show this this is the pink one right and then um, I'll have yellow but I'll, I'm going to put green We have blue, I have a yellow pen, and we have purple, of course I want to put a little decorative touch, <laughs> yeah so. I've been swatching and making marks and stuff like that. It depends on who you are. It could be fun. I mean, I like pens, so for me, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take, I don't have a yellow creative devotion, but I do have some um, Statler. Um pens and that's more like a neon yellow right that yellow yeah so let me hold it up so you can see it and that's pretty much it so that's the first swatch in my DIY little swatch book you know 
And when you do a swatching, you can do doodles. It don't have to be like this. Maybe when I do um, the Bible journaling. No, no, I'm not going to do that with the highlighters. I have some other pens that I want to um, do a swatch for. And so maybe I'll do some doodling when I do that. But that's it. So um, I'll leave the link to... Um, creative devotion it probably just American crafts right since it's from that company but um either way I'll leave something in the description section um I pray to remember to do that yesterday I had to go back and put some links because I sometimes when I upload the videos I you know I upload and then I just totally forget like oh my god I forgot to put the the links that I said I was going to put so but if when I remember I'll go back and put it so if you've seen pre a previous video like which video was that? I think the video I did yesterday, number six, for the four ways, um, four ways you can do Bible journaling. I was supposed to leave a link to my Pinterest board where I saved um, different like downloadable journal pages, and most of it is free. Um, I have forgot to put it, but I went when once I remembered, I went and I put that link. I put the link to the soap. Um, journal page. I did a Dropbox link for that. Um, the one that I created. I put that and I also put the link to um, sparklesofsunshine.com for another type of Bible journaling page. So the links are there just in case you saw that video and then you didn't see the links. But they're there now. So anyway, so with that being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you and remember Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.